Hi, this is Ron from EnvisionCAD. For this tip, we're going to take a look at inroads survey. What I have here are dynamic graphics on the screen from a field book. And I'm going to go ahead and open that field book. And the intent here is I want to create a filter to constrain some of the uh, points that are on the screen. I've got some 8,000 and some up in the 10,000 range. And maybe there just happens to be a range of 10 point numbers I want to see for whatever reason. One thing we can do with inroad survey is create a filter. And I'm going to activate this filter here. Let me just pull this over on the screen, get rearranged here a little bit. I can activate that filter, and we can create a filter in uh, uh, a lot of different ways. This filter, we're going to say, I want to start with no items passing the first rule, and then I want to add a rule. And we can test on a lot of different things, whether it's for a field book or even um, for features in a surface, but in this case, we're filtering our field book. And in this case, I want to filter based on point range. So I've already typed this in, so based on those points, I want to include them. I'm going to add the rule, and now I've got that rule created. Just a very simple one. And I'm going to select a Save As here, and I'll just say this is a point range to give the filter a name. And then I can OK and close this. Now, nothing's happened yet other than I've created that rule. To enable that rule, I have to come up to my Feature Filter Lock and enable that. Once that's toggled on, that works both for features and for inroad survey. And you'll notice that my field book now has been constrained by whatever passes that rule along with the graphics. And if I would take the next step and export my field book to either planimetrics, uh, surfaces, or geometry, only the items that pass the rule would be exported. So to deactivate that rule, we'll just come up and turn that feature filter lock off. And we're back to seeing our complete field book. That concludes this tip. Thank you for watching.